Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. here in Shelbyville at Kentex Barbecue. Got my partner in crime Rodney back again for a guest review. Uh, Rodney's had some recommendations. I'll let him talk in a minute. But I've been recommended this place uh, recently by a credible source. Y'all remember Don and Virgil that have been in a couple of my reviews. They've been pounding on me to get out here. They say it's great. And I think they got some kind of all you can eat thing which that caught my attention too. I don't know anything about it yet, but anyway, Rodney, what do you know about this place? Because Rodney reached out to me this week and said, let's go to Kentex. So tell me what you know. Uh, some of my coworkers at uh, Amcor uh, Flexibles Pharmaceuticals, uh, they recommended it. They've gone here quite a few times. They show me a few deals of like some uh, eight meals that feed up to eight people for like 40 bucks. I, I saw that, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And then they started showing me the food, and I'm like, it's barbecue, so you can count me in on that, bro. Absolutely. While well, I'm thinking about it, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, like button. Uh, that's the best way you can help me help mom and pop restaurants like this. All right, enough of the chit chat. Let's get on in here, see what they got to offer, because I know y'all saw that Moonlight Barbecue and Old Hickory Barbecue videos. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see what they got. I'm in the barbecue kind of mood right now. All right, we'll be right back. Hello everyone. This is Brian, your local mortgage broker here in Louisville. If you want to buy a house, but you don't have a lot of money for down payment, uh, we can help. Please give me a call. Uh, we have some great down payment assistance programs that can get you into a house with little or no money down. Brian Curl, Wholesale Mortgage Source, 502-738-1003. All right, quick look around. We're in the process of ordering right now, but I'll show you they got that soda fountain. But look here, that's what I was talking about. All you can eat, $34.99. That includes everything on this menu, ribs, chicken, brisket I'm about ready to throw down folks exhibition time double snapping turtle moves coming <laughs> all right before I get started on my food I want to just do a quick little walk through here show you the place got a nice little dining room in here got a huge kitchen back here I like their system you just go up you order at the counter you pay get your food right there did you see back here good looking kitchen organized and looks really clean and then if you want on a nice day you go out here on the patio got a nice outdoor patio area oh look Geronimo all right they got the old time what's this wild bill hickok old timey atmosphere here all right rodney he's already digging in so we're just gonna go ahead and transition right on in all right so we both got all you can eat so go ahead and tell me what you're starting with rodney starting with some ribs and some chicken and uh got me some chili and potato salad yeah I talked to the owner she said um everything you. is homemade appreciate it uh with the exception of the potato salad said everybody loves it so much she didn't see any reason to change it heard that but everything else is made in-house um the place has been in existence for 37 years her and her husband have owned it the last 27 and it's local and it's owned i like it locally owned mom and pop you know that's my kind Ooh, of place hey. Mm -hmm. All right, so Rodney, have tell me. I saw you eating that rib when I yeah, came up. Man. Even the sauces are homemade. Even the, look at that, man. Yes, 
Looks good and juicy. Oh yeah, just yeah. come right off Comes that right bone. off that bone, man. Have at it. There you go. Mm. Good snapping turtle bite. Mm. Barbecue. I know he, Rodney's got nice technique there. I see this in his first rodeo on some <laughs> ribs. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, there's your napkin. Try it. All right, chili. Oh my goodness. And it's healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. You say it's healthy? Yeah. Like good for your cholesterol healthy? <laughs> I'm saying it's good and healthy in this bowl. <laughs> All right, heart patients. Enjoy. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, disclaimer here. This review is not conducive for heart patients. <laughs> so don't be going to Norton Hospital trying to throw in a claim against me here. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in just a second when I start in on mine. Okay. Before we get to mine, I didn't realize Rodney had other items here. He's got the chicken. Yeah, I got the chicken. Half chicken, man. And that is all included in the buffet. Man, it is well worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, some people are leery of buffets, so I do need to point out, uh, it's not actually buffet where you gotta handle utensils and stuff. It's all you can eat. So you can get anything on the menu and they will serve it. They plate it for you. That way you don't have to worry about following other people that don't use proper hygiene. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, Viking style. Mm. 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 <laughs> Rodney's got technique, I'm telling you right now. All right, mm. Mm. I'm gonna let him work on that mm. and then I want to start in on mine. I haven't eaten all day, and I'm about ready to go into a panic attack because this stuff looks and smells so good, and I can't wait to get in on it. All right. All right, so I'm going to start with the ribs first, and I'm putting the sauce on first, and I asked for the hottest that they got. They said, well, they're hot is hot, but if I can withstand it, he said to try some of this Melinda's ghost pepper sauce on it. So... They don't make this, store-bought, but I said I wasn't scared, so they handed me that. Before I start on the ribs, though, I want to taste this Longhorn Stew, which they said is their version of a burgoo. Uh, as you all saw on the Moonlight video, this doesn't really resemble the, the burgoo. I don't see corn in it, but I see beans, pinto beans, but it's got multiple meats in it. I know what I'm getting mm. around to. That's the real deal. Love it. It's got a nice taste to it. You can taste the smokiness Ooh, of it. the meats in it. It's got a really good smoky taste. Good flavor. Perfectly blended seasonings. All right. Got these ribs. These look like baby backs, Rodney. What, what do you think? Yeah, they look like baby backs. Either that or some small St. Louis cut. I'm not sure. Those are very tasty. Got a little scald on the outside, juicy and and uh, wet in the middle. I'm over here eyeballing these fries. These are home cut fries. They got a little extra seasoning you can put in on the side. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna break away and then I'll be back and we're gonna sample other items. Be right back. That pork tenderloin looks good though. Mm -hmm. So Rodney, he just said something off camera. I just, I just had to tell you. He said, "I'm getting biblical on biblical on these ribs, wailing and gnashing, gnashing of teeth. Of the teeth, man. <laughs> oh, oh. oh man. yeah. This mild barbecue sauce. I didn't think it was gonna be good, but man, it's got great flavor. All right, we're still working through round one. Believe it or, believe it or not." I've got one rib left. 
I've still got things I haven't gotten into yet. Be right, right back. Back to these fries. I went ahead and used some A1 on these. These are kind of big like steak fries with that spice, that extra spice on there. Mmm, really good. All right, Rodney already tried his chili, but I gotta go ahead and do mine, give my little critique. It's got ground beef, looks like either chili beans or kidney beans. Those are, chi those chili, are chili beans. beans. Yep. Got a little tomato in there. Mm -hmm. It's really tasty. You know, he said it wasn't smoked. I tasted a little smokiness in there somehow. I don't know what they did, but... All right, pork loin. Sliced pork loin. I saw him cut it straight off the loin, fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of this without the sauce for you haters. <laughs> Tender. Like cotton candy. <laughs> All right. I usually don't eat a dessert in the middle of the meal, but the owner came out here and brought us, was it peach cobbler or apple? Apple cobbler. Apple cobbler said her daughter made it. And they also got some spice cake in there that the owner's wife, the owner, uh, the, the wife owner, and I'm gonna be getting some of that after I'm done with the next round. Let's go ahead and try this out. Because they say one dessert comes with the all you can eat. Mmm. Good? Oh yeah. Those apples in there are like caramelized. And you can tell it had like a crunchy like uh, layer on top when they dipped it. Oh wait. It's got a little crunchy in there. Mm. And just so you know, I got mine waiting. If I had a dip of vanilla ice cream on top of that, oh yeah, I'd probably get up and like start singing some Lionel Richie or something. <laughs> Hello. Right. Oh, cornbread. All right. Good stuff. You see them ribs. Um, there was wailing and gnashing of teeth <laughs> taking place there. All right, I'm going to work on the rest of this. Then we're going to start on round two. Be right back. All right, Rodney just took a bite of that, and uh, he got, he actually used the Lord's name in vain. I ain't going to repeat. Oh, my God. <laughs> he did it again. Natural reflex. <laughs> Isn't that good? That crunchiness that's in that's, there. Man, like you said, a scoop of ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, it'd be on. I mean, it's already on. Man. It's probably a good thing they didn't. People be up in there drop kicking people <laughs> upside their head. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, you hear the animal noises. All right, we'll be back. I'm about ready to go back in and get my second round. Yep, round right, two. here we go, round two. Man, this is tender. Rodney went ahead and got some of that pork loin, too. And I got this sweet sauce that they make in-house. And you know how, like, a lot of times when you go places, I like to get the sweet or the mild because they concentrate more on the flavor than they do the heat. Mm. That's good. That's so good. And just cut right off the loin, too. Still mm -hmm. juicy. See, I waited. I made the mistake. I waited and ate my loin last. I should have ate it first Man. while the juices were still flowing like yeah. they are on Rodney's there. It makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Which, speaking of which, cut off the loin. Y'all see that brisket there? And it's all you can eat, but they, they're not stingy. Nope. I'll tell you that right now. Because mm -hmm. they're taking the chance that, like, somebody gets their second plate 
And, you know, they could be skimpy thinking that somebody's going to waste it. Of course, they look at me and they know different. <laughs> but anyway. Man, this yeah. longhorn stew is good. And by the way, I was talking to the daughter that makes the cobblers. She makes them every day. The uh, cherry and the, uh, is it apple? Apple, yeah. yeah. Every day. Man, it's good. Yeah, what do you think of a longhorn stew? Man, this is good. It's hearty. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's got a lot of lot going on in it. Mm -hmm. mm. And look, he's trying to go uh, healthy on me. Got him a side of green beans. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to let Rodney put in work, and then we're going to be back, and I'm going to start in on mine. All right, so I'm moving in. I've been eyeballing this sausage. Ain't nothing better than some good smoked sausage right there. All right, got me a little golden spicy mustard to dip. Oh, I didn't see you do that. Mmm. It smoked flavor is incredible. You know what? People look and see that reddish tint, and they think that something didn't cook through. Well, people don't know barbecue know that red in the middle is actually from where it's been smoked. So when y'all see this video, don't be writing in the comment section, oh, it's raw, it's not cooked. This is cooked. All right, now I got the brisket and that's still juicy. Look at that, juice coming out right there. Mmm. I tell you what, this has been a banner week for me on barbecue. Did my little uh, Kentucky <clears throat> Kentucky Treasure Tour, Owensboro this past week, and then went to here. When Rodney recommended coming here. I almost postponed coming here and, and you know, tried to come up with something else because I just had all that barbecue. Thought I was like on overload with the barbecue. No, this is so good. It, this is, I'm not exaggerating folks. You've got to come to Shelbyville to get some of this Kentex. All right, we're going to work on some of this. Uh, I got these beans. I'm going to work on some of this, uh, brisket and sausage and then i want to taste these beans that they make they're supposed to be really special be right back all right this sausage is incredible brisket's great but you know what goes really good with brisket and sausage is pinto beans and let me show you how we do it there you go with some melinda's Ghost pepper. How's that sauce? That hot sauce. It's, it's pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. For an average person, uh, I'm sure it would be pretty tough. But, all right. Man, look at that. Chopped onion, jalapeno. Not jalapeno, jalapeno. <laughs> all right, here we go. If any of y'all see my mom and dad out somewhere, if y'all know them, ask them how they pronounce jalapeno. <laughs> okay? You ain't gonna hear them saying jalapeno. It's jalapeno in the good old family. Sorry, <laughs> but not sorry. <laughs> oh, man. These beans are on point. Here, I'll even try a little bite without all the fixings in it. Mmm. So good. <laughs> Now, this is an interesting twist here. I ordered the baked beans because everything's made in-house. And when I got these, I thought they gave me an extra order of the pinto beans because they look pretty much the same and they are pinto beans. I said, what's the difference? And she said, they put a little extra Kentex seasoning in there. Ooh. So let me see. And I'm gonna get some more of this cornbread to chase it with. Mm. Mm hmm. There's some tanginess in there. I guess she's talking about the seasoning. It's got to be their barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting the barbecue sauce. 
So yeah, it's basically their pinto beans with their homemade Kentex barbecue sauce in it. Mmm. Hey, Melinda's got me sniffing one a little bit. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna, Rodney's just now kind of making a dent in his plate. We'll be right back. I had to review the carnage just taking place over here, man. The wailing and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rodney's getting into his sausage. Whew. This is good. You hear him breathing hard. Mm. You know, he's about ready to raise the white flag, I'm afraid. Yeah, man, this is worth every penny. Every penny, folks. Every penny. You know what? Did you hear that little snap when he bit off at? That's that's what I like. It's got the good, you know, singe on the casing. Juicy in the middle. Rodney ate those vegetarian green beans. Well, there's probably some meat in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit I of meat. Yeah, a little seasoning. Yeah, a little seasoning. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So I'm going to keep working. I don't know if I want to get a third plate. You know, people consider that showing off. <laughs> uh, but I might have to do a little victory dance with a little something else beside this. So you know how I do at the buffet. They try to hand me that check early. I like go for three more plates and then do a victory dance around the buffet line. All right, be All right, right back. I'm not quite done yet. Uh, I've still got a little brisket to eat here, but... I wanted to try all their sides. So I got the coleslaw. You know, any kind of homemade sides, I gotta try them out. Mmm. Tell it's fresh too, man. You hear that crunch? Even with my mouth closed, it's usually <laughs> I got it open. <laughs> you can hear that crunch. Good mayonnaise base. And what I really like about this is they didn't load it up with the sugar. A basic slaw recipe, don't think you're eating healthy if you order the slaw, because generally a slaw mix is one third sugar. So don't fool yourself. Sorry to rain on your little <laughs> healthy wannabe parade, but yeah, this has very little sugar in it. That's why I like it. All right. I went ahead and they had, they had two of these spice pies left. Daggone it. It's like Fort Knox trying to get into this thing. The spice cake. I said spice pie. Spice cake. Turn that, turn that back around. Yeah, look, look at that. Wow. And I'm not sure what the icing is. I don't know if I've ever had spice cake, but it looked like my dad's old Italian cream cake mm -hmm. that he used to make out at Goodall's Country Store. And being it's homemade, I'm going to have to go ahead and try this. Oh, yeah. Get a little bite with all that icing. Here we go. That is excellent. I don't know why they call it spice. What do you know anything about spice cake, Rodney? Mm -mm. I thought what you did. I thought it was Italian, you know, like Italian cream style. I think I'm tasting some kind of nuts, like a maybe a pecan. I'm not even a big nuts type of dude, but this is really good. And the icing, I'm going to say, is cream cheese base. Mm. Definitely got some pecans or some type of nuts in there. Really good. All right, I'm going to work on some of this and then we're going to come back, give some parting words, 
You know, I always say I'm done, but you never know. I might not be done. All right, be right back. All right, I got to tell you, I raised the white flag. Got a couple bites of these sides. I ain't going to let that uh, spice cake go to waste, though. But other than that, I ate everything. Cobblers, look at them bones. Refugee camp couldn't even pull nothing off of them. <laughs> And one bite of brisket, which I'm going to eat that. But anyway, I wanted to show you. I ate all this food. And uh, we're going to give some parting words in a minute. We're going to go out front. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna show, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't hit it. We still rolling? Yeah. I got to show you Rodney. Rodney's got to do the walk of shame. What we got here, Rodney? <sighs> Couldn't finish the green beans. Couldn't finish the stew. I thought you was gonna come off the top rope like Superfly man. Snooker, but man, that's that's just looking so good, and I I just I feel like such a failure. Well, that's like all right. Failure. Instead of calling you Superfly Snooker, I'm just gonna call you Gorgeous George. You know? <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up here. Gonna go out front, give you some parting words. You know, I don't Aww. I don't waste much. I appreciate that. Thank you all. <laughs> everything was great. Everything. everything. Absolutely everything. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Profile. I feel like uh, I could have starred in Rosemary's Baby right now. Anyway, Rodney, go ahead and give your take on it. Well, I catch up on my breath. My goodness. I heard about this place. I was looking forward to trying it. Whenever you come to some place you've never been before, you're always skeptical thinking somebody else built it up. It's worth it. That's all I can it's, it's worth it. It, it. The pork tenderloin, the ribs, the chicken. Oh, my God, that apple cobbler. I think part of my soul got a little extra happy. That apple I ain't lying. Not one bit. Man, he's getting all kinds of biblical today. His soul oh. is filled. <laughs> the wailing and gnashing oh. of teeth. You know it's good, Barry. When I took that bite, I, I started, I started dancing. My shoulders started going. <laughs> just started jumping. I just, wow. man, that's some good comedy. Well, we got somebody about ready back out, so I, I got to wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> everything was great. The people in there are nice. Here, let me just get this stand out of the way so this, I'm not ready to. Anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, here, back up, bro. Uh, man, now I've kind of lost my train of thought. Yeah. Anyway, the family in there is just as nice, nice as they can be. be. Uh, I wouldn't recommend most people get that all you can eat deal because not many people can finish that second round, plus the dessert and all that stuff. And it's just all top notch. You know, you probably come out here and get a dinner and be stuffed. I literally am having a hard time breathing right now. But anyway, definitely I'll stack this barbecue up against anybody. I mean, I know of like some places the brisket might be a little better or the chicken might be a little better, this and that. But an, as overall, it's as good as you're going to get. Everything is top notch from the ribs, the chicken, the brisket, the pork, everything. The sides are all good. All right. Anything else, Rodney? I need a nap. I know I'm forgetting. I know I'm forgetting something. But anyway, Make sure you add, like and subscribe. Well, I already told him that in the beginning. Okay. All but right. I'll tell you again. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell and press like. All right. So with that. Y'all don't know nothing about this Kentex barbecue. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.